Yeah, this weather has messed with some school calendars yeah. for sure. Should be getting back to normal by the time Monday rolls around because we're going to be in the 50s today, the 60s tomorrow, getting rid of that snowpack, but still a few icy spots, especially oh, sure. any locations that have been shaded from the sunshine over the past couple of days. We're about to see a lot of sunshine once again. Temperatures are below freezing right now, not as far below freezing. Remember, it was just two mornings ago we started off at 10 Thursday morning. Yesterday we started off around 20. This morning we're starting off in the upper 20s in the triangle. Nice to see that horizon brightening. No cloud cover anywhere close to us. We are going to see full sunshine once again today, and that will help our temperatures warm up. Winds out of the southwest also will help in that regard. 28 in Garner and Nightdale, 32 degrees right now in Durham, but only 22 in Creedmoor, 19 degrees, one of the colder spots in Pittsburgh. We look farther to the south, we're at 30 in Fayetteville, 34 degrees in Hope Mills, and 35 degrees above freezing in Grays Creek, and I think we have a better chance of staying above freezing in most locations overnight tonight into early Sunday morning. So the melting should continue. I don't think we're going to be looking at a refreeze overnight either. Hour of hour temperatures, a great day to get the dogs out for a walk, especially if they've been kind of cooped up indoors. If you didn't let them go play in the snow, go let your dogs play in the snow before it's completely gone. Temperatures are going to warm up. It's going to be kind of muddy snow later on today if there's any leftover in the yard. Upper 40s by noon, mid 50s for highs this afternoon. Mild for this time of year. The average high is 51 degrees. We'll be four degrees above that today and close to 20 degrees, excuse me, close to 10 degrees above it tomorrow. I'm not going to get too carried away there with the forecast. Temperatures will be up into the mid to upper 40s as we head towards noon and then 50s for highs this afternoon. Not too bad. We do have the next chance of showers in the forecast, but pretty far down the line. Let's go through future cast here. We'll stop at a couple points along the way. No need to today. Clear skies overhead. Late tonight, see a little gray showing up here. Some fog possible towards early Sunday morning. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be too much of an issue, but because of the melting snow, adding some more moisture to the lowest levels of the atmosphere, might see some patchy dense fog developing in those locations that had the heaviest snow. Generally, the western portion of the Triangle and into the Piedmont. Same thing possible Monday morning. Once that dissipates, we'll see more cloud cover beginning to move in from the south by Monday afternoon. But that next chance of showers mainly still hanging out to our west by Monday night. But this is all going to move in into the very late night hours on Monday with the best chance of rain showers the first half of the day on Tuesday. Temperatures really no problems the next few days. Mid 50s today, low 60s tomorrow and again Monday. We stay above freezing all the way until Thursday morning. Even once we drop below freezing, it's only going to be a couple degrees very close to normal for this time of year. That rain chance on Tuesday will be all rain. No worries about wintry stuff this time around. No heavy rain. It's not going to be a drought buster, but we'll take what we can get. And then dry weather settles back in with near normal temperatures Wednesday, Thursday, and again on a Friday. We'll keep you updated throughout the CBS show coming up at 7 o'clock. Thank you so much.